If I would like to thank you all for participating in this session. It's an honor for me to moderate this panel with such a distinguished uh, members of panel and you participants. Uh, first, allow me to introduce uh, the members of the panel. As you already saw uh, Dr. Izadi's presentation, Dr. Izadi is the Deputy Minister of in Architecture and Urban Planning for Ministry of Road and uh, Urban Development, and uh, he's also a member of uh, University of Buadi Sina Hamedan. Uh, on my left, Dr. Erfanyan is board member of Iranian Urban Regeneration Corporation and special advisor to the Minister of uh, Road and Urban Development. Uh, she will have a, a presentation at the beginning of this uh, panel. Later on, uh, we will have a few points uh, about both presentations, and then we will open the floor for the whole participants to for question and answer or comments as you like. Uh, on my right, Dr. Alaidin is Professor of Social Planning, University of Tehran. And uh, I myself, uh, I, I'm already introduced by the uh, Master of Ceremony. Uh, so allow me to ask uh, Dr. Erfanyan and to see his, her uh, presentation. Dr. Erfanyan, the floor is yours. Hello everybody, uh, I'm not sure about the uh, quality of the sound in the room. No, it's okay. okay. Uh, at first, I appreciate of, uh, the target Modares University and all the public and other responses. Uh, it's a good opportunity. We, uh, talk to each other about the uh, quality and uh, some other issue about the public space. I'm trying to explain for you about the um, experience in uh, the government and it, it is uh, in following the virtual uh, lectures. Uh, we try to um, explain about the process of, uh, of the event of the event. Um, because of this uh, new uh, paradigm 
Chief Neo or Quality, and the Ministry has developed a BNL event. Uh, today we want to show you and explain for you about this event. Uh, the main uh, the main of this event was identify and recognize experiences that have uh, brought a sustainable sense of quality to the people. And uh, another aim is uh, a practical guideline, uh, accessing the practical guideline to local authority directly uh, confirming with urban uh, regeneration approach and quality of urban life. What is the event? Uh, the, uh, the name of this event is uh, the National Quality Award for Urban Regeneration Practices in Iran. Um, sensitizes the professional and academic commu uh, communities about the concept of the quality. The main focus is on the quality. They emphasize on the necessity of uh, attention to concept of quality and the uh, end is creating qualitative approach in assessing the uh, prosperity of urban projects in order to development, develop a people-based uh, evaluation system, achieve a set of actions com compatible with public uh, priority and expectations, um, uh, learning a lesson learning from stream among people and experts. The main emphasis of this event was asserting uh, an integrated guide for urban planning and design action, sorry, uh, design and, uh, action toward an improvement in quality of life. And second emphasis was developing an integrated qualitative and quantitative evaluation method. How the process of event is running? This, uh, in this year, I'm going to show you, explain uh, for you the process of this uh, event. At the first, uh, it, uh, the first step is about process design, uh, establishing the uh, aims and questions and the uh, um, design of the uh, methods. And the second one is designing uh, of evaluation criteria. And the third one is judgment, I explained for you. Two of judgment are here now, and fourth outcomes, the same fourth stage. In the next slide, I explain for you more. Uh, how, uh, um, in process design, I explain for you, I don't want to uh, get the time for more explanation. And the second uh, step uh, is um, uh, reviewing and um, uh, for um, designing appropriate evaluation criteria. Uh, we try to follow four steps. Uh, one of, uh, the first one is the reviewing of related literature. And the second uh, um, stage was, um, um, I should um, explain for you, this stage was in parallel, it was in conduct parallel. And the second one uh, was uh, negotiation with experts. Uh, we have some expert interviews and some uh, expert meetings. Many of the people are here um, attended in these meetings and in um, interviews. Uh, and the next um, step with a uh, review over similar events. Uh, this is the name of all the uh, similar events we um, focus and um, study and extract some criteria um, and some um, similar ways. Um, and this uh, table shows you uh, the main uh, criteria we use for judging the experiences in the process. Uh, if I want to... Uh, <coughs> the, criteria, the main criteria was constitutionalism, participation, procedure realization, uh, effectiveness and uh, satisfaction and innovation. Uh, based on this um, criteria, uh, judges starting their judging. At the first level of uh, judgment, uh, we have an initial review over the legislative experiences, and the second level, uh, express judgment over qualified 
experiences using the criteria, by using the criteria. And at the final stage, we have a field study uh, with the negotiation with the people and local um, government at the uh, places, at the field. And finally, we have conducting an event, and we have some uh, ex uh, exhibition and some documentation, and it was a good result of this um, experience. Updating the website, and uh, you, everybody can use this, uh, the result of this um, event in Iran. Um, at the uh, continue, I want to uh, explain for you, or uh, introduce to you, the experiences was about Iran public space. But let me uh, show you at first a, a short uh, clip, and after that I explain the continue.
دانشگاه چه تاثیری گذاشته روی خیلی از از همه لحاظ به سرگرمی بچه‌ها بهتر شد چیزی که به نفع ما باشه حاضره که من دانش بده صد تومن دولت بده فردا دانش ما بده نه که کل مردم حاضر
feature in this uh, experience was about good cooperation between um, uh, municipality and other um, parts of um, cultural heritage and in others and people. Uh, for changing the uh, movement and the quality of the um, life at the school. I asked Dr. Izadi help me if I uh, need something to add to this. And the second um, experience is about uh, Amol. Uh, this is in historical city of Amol. Uh, 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 incremental and uh, participatory improvement of 13 old uh, alleys to market of Amol in historical area of the city. من Uh, this project is not in 
soil facilities, but the share is one of the informal settlement area in the Mandara, in the Golestan, uh, excuse me, in the Bombay Gardens. The Turkmen people live in this area and uh, in creating some uh, public spaces uh, in, uh, through the uh, program for uh, operating informal settlement in this area uh, affected in the life and and liability of the people in this area. And the next one is uh, again in the uh, historical uh, part of the world. And, uh, you see the Usia Mahale, you see many things about it. In, uh, this is um, uh, conducted by a private, um, private, uh, private sector, it's uh, not government. Uh, was Dr. Osia, the name of the man uh, tried to do this. And the uh, second one is in the game of all. And it's finished. Uh, thank you for attention, and I hope uh, you, uh, you, I can to uh, uh, introduce uh, for you uh, some, um, a little part of this experience. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fanyan, for this informative and interesting presentation. As you already saw, Dr. Izadi started with uh, uh, explaining, deliberating on uh, the tradition of production of space in the Iranian cities before the last century, before the so-called modernization. And later on, he criticized uh, the production of new spaces in these decades. Somehow, he delineated the policy of the ministry uh, under the title of urban regeneration, a new approach to change these uh, uh, spaces into sustainable, friendly, and value-based uh, spaces. Dr. Uh, Irfanian continued with uh, uh, a leverage, uh, uh, an initiation, an initiative to promote this approach toward the award for uh, quality based uh, project. Uh, now I would like to ask uh, Dr. Alaydini to uh, share his insights with us about these two presentations and uh, other comments which uh, he would like to share with us. Dr. Alaydini. And some of them look really beautiful. 
But I think they've had, I know some of them, and they, they've had different uh, levels of success. Some of them were very nice, but uh, nothing much is happening there. They've not been turned into very, very happening uh, spaces. For example, the Anamash in Denmark, that's a beautiful area. The whole area is probably one of the nicest areas in terms of um, the architecture. Uh, in the city, but it's not really a, a very happening place. And I think you should look into that, why uh, this is the case. Um, or another example, I think you did not show it, but uh, another one is Baba Sebastian or South Avenue in Tehran. That's also, that has also been turned to, into a pedestrian zone. It, it's, maybe it's changing very slowly, very, very slowly. So the intended consequences are not um, being manifested in the area as quickly as we, we would like them uh, to. Um, uh, probably one reason is that, and we did not hear that in the presentation, is the, uh, these are areas that uh, are, have uh, a lot of businesses, a lot of local businesses. And we did not hear about all the negotiations and the uh, uh, advocacy and the legwork that is required to, for example, um, to create these new public spaces. Because we are changing their their functions. Maybe in the 100 years ago they had, they, they acted as public spaces, then in the most recent period maybe they've been turned into uh, dead holes for the bazaar. Now we are trying to again change their uh, uh, the way they function in the city. And uh, so there are a lot of stakeholders and a, a lot of stakeholders there that must be um, brought into the process for the project to, uh, to become successful. And I think that's, that's a very important part of the, the whole thing and maybe we can hear a few things either from the uh, presenters or, or the audience about that. Finally, uh, a couple things also I would like to hear about possible gentrification. In Iran, since all of these projects are not totally changing the neighborhoods, um, they're not turning them into extreme touristic areas like for in Europe and, or uh, some places in Europe because of other issues that we are facing in, in Iran, maybe we are not uh, feeling the level of gentrification, but probably rental uh, fees are going up either for the stores or, or the, for the housing stock and we would like to hear that. Finally, but related again to the, the last, the, the previous point that I was raising, we heard about, for example, one doctor, Osia, who's acting as an urban regeneration hero uh, of uh, some kind. And uh, uh, so if we need heroes, can we actually create heroes? Can we facilitate the work of heroes? Do we need them? Um, that's also, uh, I think, uh, as important, is an important issue that uh, we should discuss. Thank you. That's, uh, Thank you so much, Dr. Alaidini. <laughs> yes, before uh, opening the floor for the respectful the audience to share their comments or even have a question answer session. Uh, may I uh, uh, add a few things? As a result of uh, Dr. Alaidini comments, uh, two issues came to my mind. One was, in fact, uh, what he mentioned how we can make these uh, public spaces after our intervention, after our engineering and physical intervention into an alive space. What Ivan Eilish says, convivial, conviviality, how we can make convivial. And the other thing was uh, about this uh, issue of gentrification. How can we change this uh, urban regeneration approach into a community-based uh, uh, development? Uh, as far as I know from the policies of the Ministry of Road and Urban Development, they are really concerned about uh, this uh, two things as well. Uh, in fact, at the moment, they are working on a new uh, terms of re reference for uh, comprehensive plans of the cities.
to involve the communities and also make it more participatory. Uh, okay, uh, in fact, to get your ideas about uh, the panel, may I, uh, 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 may I uh, say uh, two sequential, two related questions that can be addressed by you as well, if you like. One is, how do we see the major challenges of urban development in the future? And as a result of that, how can we locate the public spaces in this uh, big picture? How can we utilize public uh, spaces to overcome the daunting challenges that we're facing? So when we're talking about the future of urban space, which is the theme of this conference, let us share our vision about the future and then how public spaces can uh, contribute to this change. To me, it's obvious that we need a transformation. If everything was well, then the city shouldn't be, as Dr. Izadi a portrait for us. The change for, for sure is not uh, a product change. We need a process change, a procedural change. And uh, maybe, if you agree with me, uh, the essence of this new procedure uh, is uh, governance. We need new uh, community players to act and to change the rules of the game. Uh, now the floor is open to the audience. Uh, you can raise your hand and we will give you the microphone uh, to express your ideas, comments, questions, whatever you like. May I ask from the organizers, uh, how much uh, uh, time do we have? Uh, let's about 10 to 15 minutes. When the, uh, the organization 10 minutes, it means 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead, please. Be please introduce yourself first and then have your comments. Uh, I have a question from Dr. Jadim. First of all, thanks for your presentation. Uh, I want to ask in such a regeneration project, by which mechanism interest public has been recognized? Thank you. Uh, more questions related to this one, if possible? Uh, I'm Hajit Palazka from Iran. Thank you for your presentation. When we are talking about regeneration approach, we are talking about uh, community involvement. And I want to ask you that, how could you support this engagement in your experiences? Thank you. And how do they, yes, practice this? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Should we come to involve Kenneth? Okay. Thank you. Everything is fine, don't worry. <laughs> evaluation process after the implementation and uh, in fact some kind of social impact, environmental impact studies. Yes. Uh, one more question. Uh, we will get back to uh, the panel and again. Yes, please. Uh, first, uh, thanks uh, for your lecture, Mr. Izzeri. I have a question. Uh, as you know, integration uh, policy spaces needs to study, uh, but uh, this is my question. Uh, when you suppose that each city has its uh, organization for the study and the university uh, has two, what is the, this uh, relation between municipality 
and your ministry, you have a, a mutual uh, committee for the sort of like uh, 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 Thank you. One more question, uh, and probably two more questions, and then we will conclude at uh, the panel. Okay, uh, Dr. Rizadi and Dr. Irfanian, can, can you please uh, uh, have your insights on these uh, questions? Sure. Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. Um, first of all, as the Professor Sarov said, we are at the level of, at the first level of uh, urban regeneration. Uh, and these projects are initiated of uh, implementing this policy. Therefore, we try just to define some pilot projects with cooperation with municipalities, like the municipality of Rash, Tehran, or the other city, to implement this project as a pilot. Therefore, uh, we intend to uh, develop this idea by the other municipality. If finance um, in an ambiguity uh, situation, but we try to, because of uh, division between uh, ministries, Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Urban Development, uh, municipalities, as you may know, uh, working with the Ministry of Interior, and we just prepare some policy and um, plans and um, like master plan, and then municipality try to uh, implement these plans. But the process of working with the, uh, the uh, management system, uh, local uh, urban management system, are under control of Ministry of Interior. This is the uh, main problem to define some good relation between government and uh, municipalities. Because the Ministry of Interior mainly uh, focus on uh, political attitude, not uh, uh, working on the um, a specific work on the uh, urban development uh, uh, plans and program. Um, the other question was about, as uh, Dr. Anadini uh, mentioned, about gentrification and diversity. Uh, added some comment about working with the community. I think that uh, at the first step, we try to start it with uh, this project, and then uh, we can uh, go through this project step by step by the other uh, driving forces like uh, community and the other um, uh, group of uh, experts that can help us to implement this kind of project. Um, the only thing that can um, add to this question is we are at the beginning of this process and we should um, go uh, step by step in the future if the situation uh, will be uh, prepared for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Irfan, would you like to comment on that? I think uh, about the question about the, uh, how the people uh, can be involved. Uh, I want to go on. I think anybody uh, will not believe that uh, all these practices uh, can be exactly in fixed uh, match with the um, uh, guidelines of um, urban regeneration. But uh, they can be uh, at the beginning, at the start of this process. Uh, 
Uh, one of the uh, big gap uh, in many of these uh, experiences was about people participation. Uh, you know, uh, if the people participation uh, can be developed in uh, all the process of the, um, these experiences, we can uh, hope uh, this continue and develop during the um, future uh, day, um, years. Um, I, um, we are, uh, I think we had to uh, try to establish, to uh, find, recognize some ways to um, can develop the um, uh, people participation in all the process. In many of these process, um, uh, people uh, just uh, you um, are the users, but um, in some parts uh, they have some. Um, participation. Um, for example, in Ahwaz, um, the, the, pro the experience started with people and we can uh, hope uh, it continue and it uh, improve uh, all the uh, neighborhood. It started from the um, one um, street, but uh, they, uh, the people uh, told us uh, this um, <coughs> improving the quality or uh, go through the uh, neighborhood. Um, now I think um, some um, programs such as uh, facilitators um, and NGOs and some uh, non-governmental uh, organization can um, help to uh, in, in improving and increasing the uh, people participation in the um, neighborhoods and in these areas. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, finally, we come to the end of this panel. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank the organizers for uh, holding such a meeting and session, and also uh, thanking uh, my uh, uh, panel members who presented uh, informative and uh, interesting presentations. May I conclude with a few things? Uh, as a result of uh, this presentation, I realize that, uh, and I'm happy to see that the Minister of Road and Urban Development is determined to change the production of space in these Iranian cities as uh, it was used to be during the last uh, uh, century. However, uh, in order not to be voluntaristic and uh, self-based, it needs a community uh, movement. I hope uh, we will upgrade this uh, approach with linking with the uh, NGOs, with the new players in these new spaces. So if we are talking about the future of urban space, uh, urban public spaces, uh, we should uh, put it in a, a larger picture that uh, how is the future of sustainable uh, urban development, and then what was the what will be the role of uh, public spaces? As we saw, it was interesting to see that somehow back to the roots and uh, upgrading uh, some of the uh, uh, some of the eternal criteria that can be used was uh, uh, used in this new approach. Uh, as a final uh, comment, if uh, Dr. Aladdin would like to add anything, please let me know. Otherwise, we will conclude this session at this moment. Just uh, one more thing that we need to think about is uh, financing these projects. Where does the money come from the municipality, the stakeholders, or uh, those urban regeneration heroes like Dr. Osia? Who's going to pay for this? I think that's. Yeah, that's one of the most important things. Yes, to make it happen. Uh, thank you all, and uh, see you in the session this afternoon. Bye now.